Well, praise the Lord, friends. Welcome to this episode of Today with Ward. I am Ward Simpson, and it is my privilege. It's my joy. It's my honor to be able to come into your homes, into your hearts, into your lives today and present the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I have a very special guest that I'm going to introduce you today. Her name is Karen Nordine. She's written a book, Unlocking the Glory, friends. We want to talk about unlocking the glory in, in your life, even today. Even now, Holy Spirit, would you begin to hover and touch us and begin to do something in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I'm going to bring Kyra up on the set here in a second. But in the meantime, I just want to thank you again for your faithfulness, for your love, for your support, for your letters, for your mail. Uh, God TV, you know, we're donor um, supported ministry. And thanks to your donations, we do what we do. We're also doing e courses at God TV. We have a whole learning division where we're bringing course after course. We're procuring courses. We're finding the top courses from around the world, the speakers, and, and we're making these e-courses available so that you can be discipled and equipped and trained and encouraged. Hallelujah. We're so grateful to what God is doing. And I want to greet all of our viewers in Africa and Asia, Australia, North America, Europe, England. We just thank God for the privilege of being able to broadcast his message, his good news that Jesus Christ is still the answer today. So take a look at this and I'll be right back. All right, praise God. As I promised you a special guest today, Kara, we're so grateful to you to being with us today. Thank you. It's such an honor to be uh, here with you. Thank you for having me. You're more than welcome. I'm so excited about talking about your book, Unlocking Glory. Mm -hmm. We want to talk to you today about unlocking glory and how we can stir up those gifts in your life. You know, the glory of God is something so precious. Amen. It's awesome. When you experience it, there's no way to go back the presence of God, the glory of God. So I don't know where we should begin. I just know that God's about to do something. Amen. <laughs> you know, so. in our day, um, we're in the last days. Yeah. And in, in uh, 2 Timothy, God warned of the coming uh, time where people would uh, abandon preaching That's that good. the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, God, he, Jesus never, he never promised that we would be persecuted for any other reason than preaching the gospel mm -hmm. and that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah. Amen. And, um, and so God wants, he wants us to use the tools, you know, in the kingdom of God, that our tools are the gifts of the spirit. Yeah. And he wants to take us to take our tools out into the harvest field and uh, put them to work. Amen. And so that's what this book is, is really about. It's about bringing people uh, to a better knowledge of how to yield to the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. how to hear God. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we, there's so many that don't understand how to hear God and how yeah. he speaks in our day. Yeah. You know, there, there is, there's our spiritual senses that the Lord speaks through and yeah. uh, unlocking glory really uh, breaks that down so people can understand how God speaks wow. and, um, and, and how to yield to his spirit because he is the operator of the gifts. The Holy Spirit is the operator. Mm -hmm. But we have to learn how to yield to God so that he can use us as vessels for his purpose, to yeah. bring forth his glory into the earth. Wow. You know, he wants to manifest our presence in the earth. Mm -hmm. And manifest means that to be fully known. Mm -hmm. What was hidden is now realized and actual and seen amongst the people. So uh, he, wants to, he wants to demonstrate his power. And, um, and so the, there's so much to learn in this book. It'll take, it's a great book for anyone, doesn't matter where you are in your spiritual walk with the Lord, whether you're a new believer or you're a seasoned minister of the gospel. There is milk and meat. It takes you from your principles all the way through your perfections of our faith. And that's what I wanted to talk with you a little bit about today is that how God wants us to move past those principles mm -hmm. and on into the perfections of our faith. Mm -hmm. And that's found in Hebrews 6. Wow, you sound like a good preacher. Amen. Praise <laughs> God. I also want to share with you about the two types of faith because it's wow. very important to understand that if you yeah. want to be able to yield to the Lord and be used in right. the gifts of the Spirit. 
Well, well, well. So you, you said moving from something to perfections? From the from the principles, principles of, our faith of our faith to the perfections. Perfection. And that's he, found in Hebrews 6. Okay. And uh, and it's it's it says that uh, we're you know to leave the the uh, doctrine of the the first doctrine the first first uh, principles we're supposed to graduate through those. Right. You can't go on to perfection unless you've been tested in your principles. Uh, so um, you know we have to have the understanding that we can't earn our way to heaven, right. and that there repentance of sin repentance is the cure all for everything. Right. You know, and right. uh, we've got to know the baptisms and and the laying on of hands and the eternal life and the eternal judgment, but that's the milk of the word. And yeah. God wants his church to move past the yes. milk yeah. and on into the perfections of our faith. Yes. And that's, and that's becoming the light bearer of, in the world. That's, that's, um, that's knowing who you are in Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it's tasting the gift of God, the heavenly gift, uh, experiencing the Holy Spirit, getting your baptism of fire, and moving on past that, this is the tasting of the good word becomes that your the logos word becomes rhema, mm. which becomes the sword of the word. You know, this is all part of our our growth. Yeah, it's you all know, part of discipleship. But he but he doesn't want us to stop there. He wants us to go on to to start begin to yield to his spirit, mm-hmm. and not only taste the power of God, which much of the church has felt his presence, yeah. but he wants us to taste the world to come. Mm-hmm. And that's in Hebrews 6. Uh, if you, you know, if I want to exhort the, 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 the uh, viewers to, to look at that, mm-hmm. because that's, that is when the Holy Spirit begins to move through you mm-hmm. in the nine gifts of the spirit. Right. Right. Well, we want to talk about that. Before, though, you, you keep mentioning about yielding to the Holy Spirit. Yes. And I know that we want to make sure and always yield. Um, but give us some examples of how we yield. Well, first off, you know, so many people want to, uh, want to be able to see in the Spirit. We've got to be able to hear God first. Right. Right, okay. First, you have to be able to hear God right. and know how He speaks. But once you know how He speaks, of course, you have to obey Him. Mm-hmm. But yielding to him is once you learn how he's speaking to you, then you, when he's speaking, yield. Mm. Allow his presence to flow through you. If he says, he, he's, Jesus says, I say to you what the Father says to me. Mm-hmm. And so when, when the, the Spirit of the Lord is speaking for a, a person that you are ministering to or speaking to yourself, yield and allow and bring forth that word out of your mouth mm-hmm. on what God is speaking. So yielding is not stopping, it's giving away. It is. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, he's, he doesn't manifest his presence for us to keep it for ourselves. Right. It's, it's to bless the world and to manifest his presence to the world. It's so that the world will know he's, he's God and he's speaking and he loves them. Wow. And he wants to change their life and he wants to deliver them out of all their bondage. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So in this book, you also talk about unlocking the spiritual gifts. Yeah. Yes. Should we get into that first or should we talk about the, the two types of faith? The two types of faith <laughs> is so important because there, there, there is two types of faith in the word. Yeah. And there is a missing piece that most a lot of the church does not have. Right. And I'd like to bring that to the forefront today. Um, the first type of faith, you know, we, we have faith uh, to believe in our, for our salvation. Mm-hmm. And uh, in that, that faith is what, how we get saved. We hold on to the promises of God through that faith. Right. We are given a measure of faith to right. believe that He right. is who He says He is. Right. There is a fruit of faith mm-hmm. that is coupled with that. And, mm-hmm. that. and the fruit of faith comes by hearing mm-hmm. and hearing by the Word of God. Mm-hmm. And that is what you hear most teachers and preachers teaching about. Mm-hmm. And it is true. Mm-hmm. And it is a fruit of faith that grows in you. Right. That's how God transplants His character in you. Mm-hmm. That's how he, he cultivates His nature in an individual mm-hmm. and shines forth His nature to the world. It, and it's found in the fruits of the Spirit. Mm-hmm. And the fruits of the Spirit is in Galatians 5. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it, the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, goodness. Gentleness, goodness, goodness faith, temperance, faith. and meekness. <laughs> There's the faith. I'm there it is. Yeah. Faith. Amen. And temperance is self-control, if there you don't you know. Amen. Uh-huh. Amen. So, so there is the fruit of faith. And, and God is, is doing a work in us yeah. to shine forth His nature. Yeah. But that's not the end all. Right. 
there is another type of faith that's found in the gifts of the spirit. Right. And the, that it is a gift of faith. Mm. And that gift is the faith of the son of God. Mm. Just like I was quoting that scripture, I'm crucified with Christ. Yeah. Nevertheless, I live, but yeah. I, but not I, yet Christ lives in me. Yeah. And the life I live now in the flesh, I live by the, the faith of the Son of God who loved me wow. and great, gave himself for me. So that is, it's a, it's a power gift. The mm -hmm. gift of faith is a power gift. Yeah. And some people will say, you can't pray for faith. But I say, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes you yes, can yeah. pray for faith Amen. because you want that power gift of faith to come in operation. Yeah. Because when the power gift of operate uh, comes into operation and it's coupled with another gift of the spirit, mm -hmm. it causes that other gift of the spirit to take off. Yeah. So without it, it's it's like when it when when it comes on, it's fully matured. Okay, let me go back. As, as soon as it comes on, it's fully mature on, on its onset. It's, mm. it's God's faith right. fused with your spirit, okay, f for that moment to bring forth His purpose, to bring forth His manifestation. Right. So when it's coupled, say, with um, the gift of the working of miracles or the, mm. the gift of prophecy, it's like that gift was running on fumes and all of a sudden has a full tank. Nice. That's good. Well. Wow. That's good. You need a full tank. Amen. Amen. Wow. Wow. Amen. wow. <laughs> well, we want you to get a copy of this book, Unlocking Glory. And uh, you'll see it up on the screen how you can get one. Kara came to me, highly recommended by a dear friend in uh, Virginia Beach. And you and your husband are the founders and leaders of, is it High Tower Ministries? Yes. High Tower Ministries. We'll talk a little bit about that when we come back. Okay. And so you're going to hear more. Um, oh. Here on Today with War with Karen in just a minute. But before that, I want to remind you, in case you don't know, that every day we send out an email to our subscribers or partners around the world. I mean, this is a daily email. It's not just words. It's videos. It's blogs. It's articles. It's current. Um, we have a whole team that works around the clock to bring you brand new content every day. I mean, I wake up every day. And the first thing I do is check my God daily because there's Bible scriptures. There's, it's just amazing. I want you to get it if you don't already have it. Um, it will bring you up to speed with what we're doing around the world at God TV, all the conferences. And it's a really, really nice resource to have. So Thank you for watching Today with Ward. Please join us again next time. In the meantime, we'd love to hear from you. Please email today at God.tv. Also, please consider becoming a God TV partner. For more information, visit God.tv.